Well, hey out there, fans, friends, feds, and frenemies. It is I, Postmodern Cowboy, and I am back with another episode of Going Medieval. Uh, where where we left off, um, I think it was yesterday, um, we got our gatehouse done. And uh, we're just... Uh, we're just bringing in the harvest. I think that's the the order of operations at the moment. Um, yeah, yeah, looks that way. So Going Medieval, um, for those of you who are just joining me for the first time, is a community management survival game uh, from Foxy Voxel. It's in the vein of RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress. Um, I really do like these types of games. Um, and we're playing on the uh, Aber Wyvern seat. Aber Wyvern is a fictional community um, created by David McCauley in his uh, architecture uh, kids book, Castle. Um, also Aber Wyvern in um, an associated PBS uh, television show, animated television show um, from 1983. Really, uh, you know, the, the similarities here, we're building a concentric castle and uh, some of the community members, uh, starting community members derive their names from characters in castle. Um, I'm not, I'm not getting too, uh, too in depth here. So we're, we're expecting a bandit attack. I'm, I'm pretty confident that's going to happen sooner rather than later. Um, and the harvest, the harvest hauling thing needs to happen. So I'm probably going to switch folks over to, uh, haul more over to haul more. Everybody should haul for a bit. Speed time up. Let's see, research is available. Hmm. I actually say, I think I moved the research bench, but I don't know if I... Res yeah, I did. Okay. She's going to produce Chronicles, I guess, when she gets around to it. We have we have a fair amount of food now um, stockpiled. So obviously, we're going we're gonna to want lots more ahead of the winter and... We need to make some animal feed and stuff like that. We've got 1,300 hay stockpiled. But as we're just in the middle of summer, the, the big priority is going to be to, uh, yeah, keeping the cabbages planted. You know, I might actually switch these fields over to cabbages. Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense to so just grow one big crop of cabbages where there previously was hay. I might actually do that next time. So the entire field with uh, with barley. Uh, it's probably one more year before I can start using the barley to produce alcohol. We've got we've got uh, honey in the interim. I really I really do need to get fermentation going, um, which reminds me should be under. Oh, I do have fermentation going. So maybe do I have a fermenting table? Maybe I just need to. Do fermenting mash edits. No, I need to. Uh, I, mean, I could I could make mashes that way, but I need to uh, I need to get alcohol production going another way. It might actually be what we wind up using this this library this temporary library for. Okay. Let's get everything hauled in. Now that the construction is done, I might leave them all on haul one. I know Hank and should be mining still. I think this might be a good opportunity to begin uh, terraforming. Start by carving out this terrain area over here by the fields. I'm going to need to create a dirt exclusive stockpile. Uh, it is, it is, uh, I guess. Yeah, today today is uh, Medieval Monday. Um, Medieval Monday is uh, the day Foxy Voxel does their uh, sort of dev blog updates on the regular. 
and um, there's new information about the forthcoming temperature system. One of the most interesting things is that windows um, are going to uh, diffuse light into rooms, which will allow us to grow things and growing plots inside of rooms. Um, and even if it's roofed, if there's enough daylight, uh, also they're going to add uh, seasonal variation of daylight because, of course, um, you know, northern climes are uh, closer to or further away from the sun based on the Earth's rotation um, and, and the seasonal pattern that influences. So that means that in the winter, days are going to be shorter and in the summer, days are going to be longer, which means more growing time, more working time. You may you may actually wind up playing with your schedule. I, I hope I hope in addition to that, um, because it sounds like it might add an onerous layer of micromanagement, um, but I do hope that in addition to that, they add um, seasonal schedules. So it'd be like, okay, we're now going over to a fall schedule you know that would be and frankly seasonal seasonal jobs wouldn't that be cool have a little little tick box because you know it's 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 a little different from rim world too because the the medieval lifestyle is much more uh, seasonally focused you know rim worlds your seasons can vary wildly based on the planet and the climate and all of those things but um for like you know this is england in the 13 1350s i think yeah 1354 so um, the climate's pretty set, you know, it's, it's going to have, um, the same things will happen every season. And that's, I think, an interesting thought. Anyway, it's an idea, it's a suggestion, we'll call it that. Okay, we need to get more wood, too. Might as well cut all the woods. Okay, Hank and was digging. And because they're hauling, I need I do need to create that dirt stockpile, like I said. So there isn't a good stockpile for it right now. Uh, but I think I think this is taking dirt. Yeah, so this is taking dirt. Um we'll just copy the settings on that. Can I wait, can I just copy the stockpile? itself I can yeah see that's that's clever okay we'll make a nice big storage area there which will will expand because we're, we're gonna have to do a bunch of uh, terraforming inside the walls too there's just sort of no no way around that I can't and I don't want to wait till winter because that's really an uh the word I'm looking for. It's not it's, it's an outdoor task, right? Do you need someone else mining? Like really could use does anybody have, Oscar has a high mining skill, so let's take him off of planting. Well, it's high mining. Don't need Andrew constructing, yeah. Should be good with three people mining. We'll we'll clip through this. vinegar it doesn't it doesn't decay no that's good
Now, the, the interesting thing with this uh, forthcoming shadow and temperature system, like I was saying in the last stream, um, is going to be that if I were to build growing plots in the inside of this wall, it's going to be in shadow um, for much of the year. Uh, statistically, it's going to get less sun, but if I were to put growing plots out front here and like terrace, sort of, it's going to get a lot more sun. I just need to find a way to protect them. And I, again, I, I assume like it's not it's not in the game yet, but I assume enemies are probably eventually going to destroy your crops or something like they do in RimWorld, um, like try to set fire to them, or I mean, I mean, I guess nature does. Um, animals will certainly try to eat your crops. How's the taming going of the? It's not. So, pigs are damn hard to tame. I think that's going to that's gonna be a winter task for sure. Milk decomposed in the stockpile. I'm not quite sure where milk was stored. I guess it's just the room temperature is too high. Gonna take a long time. Is there a central? There is. Okay. Would be there. No, it would be there. There. Yep. Cool. We'll have to see how that works out, but, uh, you can do that in each each room okay a little just thinking food stocks are getting low The reason I'm doing this now, and like I know this is this seems like a waste of the community's time, but I'm front loading the time expense um, because I know that late in the season I'm gonna want more indoor space here. Um, oops, but my microphone. We're gonna I'm gonna want more indoor space here that's not um, underground, and we're not we're not going to get to you know, develop these areas until it's cleared out. I can start to like lay down the footprint of buildings. 
Oh, it was a group of bears. I missed that. Oh, well. I'm not going to tame bears. Okay, cabbage is there already in two days, cabbage is there already in three days, that's great. I'm gonna need to hollow this tower out too, so I can I can use it as a room. And you thought I was gonna use the terrain to like build defensively, and I, and well, I did it first. At a certain point, the terrain actually becomes the material. Like rather than quarrying outside the walls, it makes more sense to quarry inside the walls where you're safe. You know that way we can keep building while defending. No one's running off to get materials, except we're going to need to get, uh, there's no iron within the confines of the walls, unless there's a vein somewhere underground. There's no iron. It's all out here. So we'll have to build an iron mine anyway. That'll be, that'll be after next winter. We don't, I mean, I could, I could benefit from starting the production, but I need, I need to do research and let's just complete the big tasks first. Might as well not cut them off there. Might as well have them um, produce. Okay, let me think. We're gonna need to get that tailoring going. I don't think we've got enough winters. We do have chests that should have some clothes. Oh, the chests. Have, oh, damn. Damn, that was silly of me. And really, we just want summer and winters. Okay. We'll take the apparel off the stands. And as far as body armor, I'm just going to make these male plates, savage plates, stands. So, I don't know what's more important, building rooms for everybody or building a church. I think, I think building rooms for everybody. And then we're going to need to get the chapel going so we can get that extra religious bonus. And alcohol production. It's fine so far. Uh oh. Time slowed down. Which means somebody somewhere is being attacked by something. But they just all woke up, so nobody is outside of the walls. That's weird. Probably gonna do a back to back today too. I'm uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling inspired. We're gonna do two two sessions of going medieval. 
and I'm working on a video uh, <laughs> a review, a video review for Silica. Um, I know I've promised other games, but I'm sort of guided by um, uh, un undefinable influences. I just I saw an ad for it, and I was like, well, that looks interesting, and I clicked on it. It was Bohemian Interactive, and it was you know real-time strategy first person shooter space bug killing uh, up my alley certainly up my alley so i uh you know it's 25 bucks on steam i got a copy and uh, i was not disappointed i had a blast yesterday um so i'm doing a video review obviously it's not perfect that's it's very early access but um i really i really like where they're going we need wood we just need wood Okay, you got around to that. Okay. I might as well block out a keep. Now, I want to keep space, keep, huh? get it? I want to keep space on all sides, um, but I want it to be closer to the back than it is to the front, so there's more room at the front. I hope this makes sense. But I'm looking at... It's probably going to be a square tower to keep because I don't I don't feel like... I mean, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see what the... It's really 21 units wide. That doesn't make sense. It's 21 units wide. Okay. How is that possible, though? Unless... Oh, did I fuck up again? I fucked up again. Hilarious. Okay, so it's a it's a little wonky. The the distance here is one extra. It's, see, it's one, two, three. Um, there's two ways I can handle that. Neither of which is great, but I can move the walls. One way the red is work with it is off center. I think I'm gonna move the walls. One, 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 uh, one. Space. Damn. Oh, if like four episodes ago when I laid these walls down, you saw me make that mistake and bit your hand and said nothing. Um, well. Yeah, now that I look at it, it's very clearly wonky. Ooh, that's going to bother me. That's going to bother me. Wonder, I wonder how I managed to do that. Okay, so we know the wall, the final wall is going to be there anyway. I said I don't even need this wall technically right now because it's an inaccessible point within the... Okay, winter clothes are decomposing in the stockpile, and that's less than ideal. Okay, I guess I can cancel these things. Oh. Make sure I'm getting only those things. Yeah.
Whatever, it's a pretty easy fix. I'm not I'm not bent into shape about it. Four, five, six. So two, three, four, five, six. I'm going off that one. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, space of five, two, three, four. What? One, two, three, four, five. Yes. Okay, good. Why doesn't that look right, though? Oh, because it's not. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's off the tower. Oh, I understand. So it's going to be um, two, four, five. Yeah, like that, except it's going to be one that way. Yeah, so that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Shouldn't be an odd number. Should be an even number. Should be an even number. Excuse me. Okay. Just this, this, this total length is supposed to be twenty two, right? Oh, there we go. Trebuchets. They finally brought trebuchets. Um, but we're only up against three archers. Oh, this is going to be a slaughter. Okay. Yeah, and they're bringing, uh, bringing a bunch of helmets. No good armor. I don't see any plate armor at all in this crew. Um, and only three archers who don't... Oh, they, yeah, they have longbows. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to add some longbows to the collection. Trebuchet is really the only thing that I'm worried about in terms of um, their ability to damage the structure. They're far off, and they're only going to hit the facade here. Yeah, because of the position they're shooting from. They're not, you know, they can't hit the stuff in here, I don't think. So, that means everybody gets drafted and called up to the wall. Except for the, the bill man. The bill man can... Stay in the, uh, you know what, the enemy's got a long way to go anyway. The trebuchets are shelling that wall section there. It's fine, I mean, even if they damage or destroy wall, like, they're doing me a favor by hitting that, I gotta move that anyway, so. Okay, yeah, projectiles are hitting, uh, the walls, this is wonderful. The enemies, yeah, they're on their way. Good. Now, let's think. As far as most talented archers to the front. Mark doesn't have a bow. Only got five archers, so we're going to need to kill the enemy archers pretty quick. Shouldn't be a challenge. Okay, we'll shoot the archers first because they can actually damage us. Slaughter. I feel like 
something's wrong with the difficulty. I mean, the fact that trebuchets showed up, that that's a high difficulty, but there should have been like 12 master archers or something at this point. Um, the fact that we've already eliminated their offensive capability. <laughs> uh, and now we're going to dogpile them from above in a little kill pocket here. Like, that's... Oh, they actually got one of the doors down. Okay. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how it is done. Ladies, gentlemen, and folks otherwise gendered. That is how it is done. Okay, let's send Mark to get uh, some armor right away. Actually, that helmet's in better condition, I think. Uh, that one's in pretty good condition, actually. Okay. Get him a short bow. Now, we do have to get rid of these corpses, of course. There's a corpse stockpile. Should make everybody unhappy for a little while anyway. A pile of bodies outside the wall. Oops, too far down. Make sure these stands are, um, yeah, so I don't need light helmets or masks or horn masks. Uh, bone helmets are too, but I will take those. Okay, and so because we just won a fight, uh, I'm going to start to strip off their armor so that they're uh, working at their full speed and potential too. I'm going to need, how many people do I have? Two, three, seven. So we need two more uh, armor racks in this room here as well. Then the next time we get attacked, I'll just send them to the room and have them put on all their armor. Sort of the general plan here. I just need... Where are they? Are they... What are they under? They're under weapon racks. There they are. Then I'll have Andrew constructs. I have Hank and constructs. Okay, just check our food levels are good. Yeah, great. Well, not great, but... Okay. I'll have them wear caps and no armor.
Okay, we'll stop the mining temporarily. Get back to that in the cold season. I'm going to get my tailors uh, working, tailoring 13, tailoring 16, so Mark will start tailoring. How's the pig taming going? Zero percent. So hard to tame. We got our Tamworths, but they just, they just don't want to, they just don't want to play, play ball. Okay, these guys who are mining. No one's done a lick of research either. Okay. <laughs> this room needs uh needs shelves so I can store and start to separate out the um, the cloth, the textiles that are being produced. And keep this exclusively for food production. This kitchen, which is also going to need a uh, a cooking bench. In fact, let me see. Hmm. A deer carcass isn't uh, decaying because it's cold in there now. I feel like at four degrees, a deer carcass should still decay. Like it, w it would in real life. Oh, eight more deer just showed up. Okay, we're repairing the damage from the. Why is Kevin naked? Does he not have his clothes decay too? Yeah, his clothes decayed. So he's just that's. I mean, he's gonna work at his maximum speed. I don't have a wood pile anymore either. Might as well just put the wood in the center, the central courtyard there. Yeah, they're, they're sorting things into the respective piles now. Okay, I see the issue. Technically, it should just be a continuation from there, right? Yeah. And...
Okay. There's the outer extent of the keep. I build everything within that space. I might I might make them four small corner round towers that could look nice. Certainly won't be large enough to contain a room, but Okay, fall has arrived. It's going to mean tailoring is a massive priority right now. What is he actually tailoring? Is he... We want 10 caps as well. Look at me. Look at me being a scrub here. It's funny because if you give them any place to put anything, they'll put the wrong thing in the wrong place. Okay. Have them switch their winter clothes. They're starting to get caps on them all too. That's that's about as good as it gets right there. Um, I mean, I can I can produce them with a, again a higher quality and with higher quality materials like fox fur caps and stuff. We'll get to, but I'm actually going to keep Kevin because he's our hunter in uh, helmets and armor. And winter clothes is fine. Yeah, that's fine. As soon as we get weapon racks up, I'm going to have everybody drop their weapons too. That, you know, we, we only need um, one person who's hunting to have protective equipment on everybody else. We'll be working at full capacity. And he's also taming, that makes sense. Really, we need to haul. This is... You know, we've got all this uh, cabbage sitting out here in the open. The bodies have been removed. Yeah, that's good. We just don't have storage for weapons.
What are we doing on lots of linen? Miss is the only one not wearing a cap, right? Miss and Oscar both need caps. Okay, make sure no food gets put in here. Or medicine, no food or medicine. And then I'll have them start to... What raw food am I excluding? I don't know why I excluded red corn. That's weird. What is a food? Oh my god. Material. Seeds. Okay, let's just copy and paste that. Okay, good. Are we starting to get wood in the stockpile too? That's sort of the sign of them wrapping up their haul? No. No, we're not. No research has been done either. I guess we got a merchant stall back up. Okay, Hankins weapon decomposed. That's fine. 
It's not like there's a shortage. <laughs> okay. So these racks are going to be special. They're going to be no melee, no shields, just ranged. And of the ranged, uh, yeah, we'll keep everything on there for now. So these are going to be uh, bow racks. Just going to make sure we manage this correctly. These racks fill up with trash real fast. Got space for six bows there, and so happens that's how many. We have. I'll double check these aren't decaying. No. But we got all the harvest in. Don't think our herbs are going to be ready. Oh, they will. They will be ready. That's fantastic. Are the beets ready? Yeah, they will be. Okay, good. Good. Those things will grow before the season changes. Oh yeah, this is working out fantastically. Probably stand to uh, repair that reinforced door there though. Do I have iron? I do have iron. Yeah, I'll get that done. Really just need them to bring in the wood. Might as well allow sticks too. Oh, they I have. Yeah, there's no reason they're not bringing in the wood. Again, Foxy Voxel, if you could allow us to prioritize wood hauling, wood should be like the first thing that gets hauled because it's the most useful basic fuel and construction <laughs> item um, rather than leaving it to lay around in the fields. Okay, we have a new joiner. He's being chased by looters. That's fine. Um, he's... A restitutionist. He's good at medicine. It's a chivalrous marshal. He's Peter. He's also got some melee skill. Very low marksman skill, so it's another melee character. He's being chased by... Easy. Easy peasy. Welcome to the club, Peter. Alright, let's do the things that we do when new people join. Um, I'll just double check his... He's bleeding, too. He's infirm, he's a washout, and he's benevolent. Okay, interesting. He's 43 years old. He's known as the Confessor of Picts. Picts. Um, he's wearing some winter clothes already. Good. So, as far as managing Peter, make sure he doesn't eat my, uh, my food. 
Get him a cap. Make sure he's wearing his winters. Okay. Okay, those are bow racks too. So if there were bows, they'd be on those racks, right? There's no bows in these racks now. Okay, so we've only got six bows in the whole community. Peter is being chased by four archers, so maybe we'll get a couple more bows. Um, I really do need to start producing them though, in case, you know, some decay or break. And now we're starting to run out of space for people to sleep. What are Peter's other skills anyway? He's got botany construction. Wow, he's pretty he's pretty useful. This guy's I, I I do not dislike this guy. Okay, we're starting to get full up on caps. Uh I don't even know what to do with all those caps. I guess we're going to need to put some chests around, some more chests around. Are Peter's research skills? Um, non-existent. Non-existent. Okay. He has really no useful skills, which means I can either put him on crafting or I can put him on hauling and stewarding. Hauling and stewarding, another set of hands for now. Okay, search party gets here in 17 hours, so in the morning I'll get everybody in their armor with their weapons. This will be a good, uh, good demonstrator of any wood reach the stockpile yet? No wood, no wood yet. Extremely frustrating stuff, folks. In fact, all the wood is still sitting out there. Decomposes in three years. I mean, it's going to sit there for a while, but uh, I would prefer if we could just get it in. All right. Who is starving? How is Andrew starving? Oh. Oh, boy. I didn't add a door. It means the religious needs weren't met either. 
Okay, 12 hours to go time. Might as well get everyone in there. Let's see if I can manage it from this uh, window. Peter does have some melee ability, yeah. Okay. Let's get everybody wearing a helmet. Okay, they went straight away and got their bow, so that's good. And they're putting on all the available armor. Still a couple people who aren't going to get armor, I think. I'm not sure if... Why did he grab a battery? He grabbed a battering ram. Come on, Hankin. You have better taste than that. Now I'm noticing that they haven't gone for helmets, and we do have helmets, so I'm wondering if helmets are a thing. Okay. First off, Hankin. I know I told you to get a two-handed weapon, um, but let's get you a birdish and short bow, short bow. Andrew can hold a long bow, right? So I don't know why he isn't or where he went. <sighs> God damn. Okay. It's good, it's good I'm sorting these kinks out now. So it takes, it takes, I'd say about half a day to get them equipped anyway. Um, if you'd just been attacked by bandits and it was a surprise attack, you'd be, you'd be rushing to get this done. It's certainly possible. And now helmets, guys. What happens if I give you all no orders and then drop your caps? Do you go get the helmets right away? You should. Okay, where are they going? Everybody made a beeline straight to all the helmets. Okay, cool. Six hours left until the attack. Osgard doesn't have a helmet. Or a weapon. What are his... His marksman five, melee 20. Jesus. Jesus. Let's get him a let's get him a bow anyway. Is that another long bow? It is. Okay. Let me guess. Catherine can use a war bow. Okay. Four hours. With two hours left on the clock, I'm going to have them 
just come home. I don't I don't want them wandering off into a dangerous position. Peter's bleeding again. I'm just gonna bruise chest, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, let's get the melee characters in position. The range characters spread out appropriately. I absolutely refuse to bow. Let's see, does it change any now? Okay. Easy. All right. Where's my castle? Okay, let's focus fire. Hit that archer. Hit that archer. Oh, it's archer still. Okay, we slotted there. Let's get Roderick there. Okay. And then we do the thing again. Just have them drop all their gear. So it used to be when you dropped the gear, you had to um, give them the order to haul the gear again. Um, like they weren't allowed to... Oops. Um, make sure these guys have no armor selected. And no armor selected. Takes a little bit of micromanagement here. Um, this system could be a little bit streamlined, but honestly, like it works pretty good. And you get them back in their uh, civis. So I, you're going to need to focus on doing this uh, to a great extent um, when the temperature changes arrive, right? Like right now, it's not such a big deal because. Um, you know, they don't need sun hats on to survive a sunny day, but that's not always going to be the case. All right. And then let's make sure these things get hauled too. There's a couple helmets here. They're good. Yeah. Fantastic. Fix that door again. 
Double check with me, have to get the iron to do it. It might make sense, um, as we did here with the caps, to bring everybody to a central location to take all their gear off and put their gear on and do it all within the confines of the armory room. Like if you've got, probably just set an armory room here at the front. But all told, that worked out pretty good. Now they don't seem to go back and pick up their caps. And they... Uh, <laughs> okay, so you gotta turn off their weapons too. That's cute. See, so building the chests. Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure these are no warfare apparel and these are hat only chests. Hat only chests. And as far as hats go, we're going to make it caps, wide hats. Yep. Mm, chaperone in case we get any. It's really funny, like, the more stuff you have and make, the more niche storage you need for it. Okay. Uh, so our, we've got hat boxes now. I guess you need more hat boxes the more peasants you get, but... Super funny. Super funny. Okay, everybody's... That caps on, except for Kevin and Andrew, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, and Oscar. Okay, so you can have a helmet. You got a. Okay. Okay, we've got one person left to get a cap. And there's plenty. There's plenty. Yeah, so that worked out pretty good, all told. Um, it took about a day to do the the switch between. Thanks. Um, I'm I'm happy with the pacing on that. Ecstatic, actually, with the the pacing on that. Didn't get any berries going that season. I'll do it. I'll do it next season. Um, but yeah, we're uh, we're we're at the end of this uh, this episode. Um, I'm definitely going to carry this forward and take a little break here and come back to it in an hour or so. Um. I think we're we're on track. I don't even need to change anything. Any any of the management, they're just hauling and harvesting and bringing things in as it as it should be um, in the fall. So yeah, that's all for me for now. This has been Postmodern Cowboy playing Going Medieval, a community management survival game from Foxy Voxel. If you like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you don't like watching me play these games, let me know what you think down in the comments. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Throw me a like. Uh, share it with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at pomo underscore cowboy. And uh, yeah, keep peaceful out there.